Welcome everybody to this DC Universe online video. So we're checking out the Tides of War 2022 feats, base items and styles. So there are going to be three feats to collect for this event in total. And we're going to be checking out everything in this video to do with the feats, base items and styles. So there will be three different feats which you can get from the Tides of War 2022 event. And the first one we're going to be looking at is going to be called Freeding Frenzy. So this is to collect 15 base items from the 2022 Tides of War seasonal event. So this is worth 25 feet points and all of these base items will be available from the uh, vendor. So the seasonal vendor right in the Tides of War location right on the ship next to Aquaman. So the next uh, second feat is going to be called Doot, Do, Do, Doot, Do, Do, Doot, Do. And this is uh, 50 feet points. And this is to collect the Shark Shibbery accessory. And this is going to be inside of the vendor as well for 50 feet points. And then the next feat we are going to be taking a look at is the third one called Fantastic. So this is to acquire two seasonal horse styles uh, from the Tides of War 2022 collection. So this is going to be worth 25 feet points as well. And then everything we're going to be starting to show off inside of this video. And then also leaving the times in the description below. So I think I'm going to first start off taking a look at the fantastic Feet, which is 25 feet points and to acquire two seahorse styles from the Tides of War uh, seasonal vendor. We are now checking out the feat called Fantastic. So this is to collect two seahorse styles from the seasonal event vendor. And this is what they look like. So you get 25 feet points for completing getting these two styles. And it is any two. So they've got the accessory seahorse accessory. Then they've got the seahorse ears and also the seahorse um, fin which is right on the back here. And each uh, of these different pieces cost 25 sand dollars. And so we've got the uh, fin on the back then we've got the ears right there. So the accessory also was called ears so I don't know if really they're the same thing. And then also the head. Uh, is called ears as well so that is also 25 sand dollars so I think if you get either the headpiece and then also the back piece which is here which uh, would give you the feet of 25 feet points so that is like 50 sand dollars just for those uh, 25 feet points to complete the feet so that is called fantastic uh, feet. Now we are checking out the second feat, which is to collect the shark shivery accessory. So this is going to be worth 50 feet points and this is going to cost you 50 sand dollars from the um, seasonal vendor. So this is going to be an accessory that you can wear. It's going to be uh, right above you. So it's kind of like a shark uh, cuddly toy sort of uh, swimming uh, right above you and uh, it is just um, right there it kind of uh, has a lot of detail to it and uh, also uh, like some stitches by the looks of it right above and it just swims uh, left to right uh, quite nice as well so that is 50 sand dollars. We are now going to be taking a look at the third and final feat of the Tides of War 2022 event. And this is to collect 15 base items from the Tides of War seasonal. So uh, once you do collect all of the 15 base items, you'll be receiving the 25 feet points. So there is more than 15 base items, quite a lot to go through. So uh, we are going to take a look at each of them. And then go through all of the base items within the seasonal vendor. So each of them will cost 10 uh, sand dollars each. So we are taking a look at the first base item from the vendor. And this is going to be costing you 10 sand dollars. And it's called Chum Bucket Group. So this is uh, buckets uh, kind of next to each other. And inside you have some chum. And then the second base item is a single chum bucket 
just uh, with some uh, charm right inside of the bucket. Looks quite messy on the outside as well. Then on the third base item right here, you have the sideways. Looks like it's tipped over, and that is also going to cost you 10 sand dollars, except this one is totally empty, probably because it's fallen down sideways to show that all of it has been spilled or gone away. The next two base items we have here are the white buckets. So we've got one regular white bucket right here just stood up and then we've got one on the sideways position. Looks like it has been knocked over, just tipped over and then you've got one here just standing right up. So as we take a look, there's nothing inside of any of these buckets and each of these buckets will cost 10 sand dollars from the seasonal Tides of War vendor. So we're going to be checking out the next two base items from the seasonal uh, vent vendor and these are going to be the aquarium uh, window and this is the regular version, the regular size version from the vendor costing you 10 sand dollars and as we look inside, so uh, whatever position you do move in, left or right, it does move with you so you can see the whole view of the sea does look uh, animated and you can see the fish inside swimming by and then you've got also the sea coral as well as some other things going on and other fish swimming right above there as well as bubbles then we have the other one uh, other base item which is going to be right down here and it is a large one maybe better for a league base I would think and here it is, so it is quite big, it won't fit anywhere else, so we did place it right here, but probably good for a um, league base, and it does look like it's quite separated, as it's not really a, uh, you know, like a whole chunk of window, because it's got barriers in between, uh, but it does have that animated effect to it, and you can see the bubbles as well as the coral and the fish as well swimming by right there. Kind of similar to the other one as well that we just showed the regular version. We're checking out next the next three base items from the seasonal vendor. And these are the hanging sharks and then also the shark mounted head. So uh, here we have the hanging shark. So this is the regular version for your base and it does fit uh, perfectly uh, so it's a hanging shark tied up on the wood here and then you've also got the league version which can fit in your base but uh, as we look here on certain places it doesn't really suit it as it is so massive and then the tail just goes right through on top of like the ceiling area so kind of uh, cuts it halfway probably have to find another spot or area for it uh, probably uh, where there's maybe a big uh, stairs or something like that and these will cost you 10 sand dollars each as we just take a view of it and there uh, if we zoom in so it's got like the open mouth as well as teeth you can see from the shark and there is the mounted head as well for the shark and this is a wall base item as well costing you 10 sand dollars right there this is the next base item and it's going to be called shark in a kiddie pool so this is going to be animated and it is going to have a shark swimming around inside of the swim pool and it does have the ripple effect of the uh, waves right there which you can see and it's just going round in a circle. So that will cost you 10 sand dollars from the event vendor. This is the surf waves wall bitten. So this is a surfboard like bitten on the edge. And you do get to have your logo or emblem right on the surfboard. So whatever logo that you're wearing, uh, you can put it on the surfboard and then it will be placed right on there so it does have the color variations of my character right there on the board so that will cost you 10 sand dollars.
So here are the other two base items and these are going to be called Surfboard Blue uh, Wall Bitten and this is going to be uh, also with the logo um, right there that you can have depending on what logo you choose or emblem you choose on the surfboard. So it's bitten on the edge there and then you've got a regular version of the surfboard right there. So these are going to be 10 sand dollars each from the seasonal event vendor. Here we have the other two different variations of the surfboard. So um, here we have the surfboard blue. So this is the regular version without any bites on the board. And then you've got the emblem right there. So depending on whatever emblem you wear, it will go right on top of the surfboard and as well as your color variation of your character. And here we have the version of a surfboard right on the floor. But this one is bitten and it's like sort of stood up and then it's got the emblem, the emblem of your choosing as well as the color variation over there. These will cost you 10 sand dollars as well each. Here we have the other variations of the surfboards base items. Um, so these will be costing you 10 sand dollars each from the vendor. So these are the few remaining on the uh, floor base items of these surfboards and here we have the regular blue version which is stood up and it's got the emblem right there of your choosing as well as the colors and then we have got a blue version which is also bitten and then we have the regular white version of the surfboard and then the also uh, bitten one which is bitten on the edge with the emblem of your choosing and also the color variation. Then we've also get a red version of these surfboards, which are the two right here. So you've got the one uh, which is stood up, no uh, attacks on it and no bites with the color variation of your emblem and also the one that is bitten on the left side, uh, which is the red surfboard but uh, does look like it's got attacked or marched on quite a bit with the emblem and color variation of your character. Then we've got a smaller version of the surfboard right here stood up. Doesn't look like it's got any attacks by any sort of shark and it's got the color variation right on it as well of your character. Here we have the other four base items for the surfboards on the wall. So the different variations of them and these are the ones that are going to be bitten and unbitten. So uh, here we have the white version of the unbitten surfboard on the wall and it does have your emblem of your choosing with the color variation of it. Looks like it's been munched on quite a bit on the left side. Then we have the regular surfboard uh, with your choosing of emblem and also the color variation right there. Then right above we have the red version with your emblem as well. And then on the right we've got a different version of the red surfboard but quite munched on by a shark. And also the emblem of your choosing with the color variation. So each of these uh, base items or surfboards will cost you 10 sand dollars each from the Tides of War event vendor. We're taking a look at the last three base items from the Tides of War seasonal 2022 event vendor and these three base items will be the beach towels. So the first one we are taking a look at is the Cersei beach towel and sand. So this is the Cersei beach towel on a piece of sand and this is what it looks like here. So this will cost you 10 sand dollars. So it's got the texture of the sand right there with the Cersei logo on the beach towel. Looks like it's some sort of lime green sort of towel with Cersei logo on top. And then up here, you've got the Lex Luthor um, beach towel and sand with the um, texture of the sand right there and then the purple color presenting Lex Luthor or representing Lex Luthor and the logo on his uh, towel and the yellow uh, also showing that it is Lex Luthor. So all of the colors of Lex Luthor. Then next to it we have the Joker 
uh, beach towel and sand and this does have the texture of the sand as well as um, on there uh, on the towel we have the green color as well as the uh, joker um, face on top of the towel so each of these towels beach towels will cost you 10 sand dollars each the next item we are going to be taking a look at isn't tied to any feet points but it is going to be available inside of the Tides of War 2022 event vendor and this is going to cost you 25 sand dollars from the vendor so it is called Shark Maelstrom Uplink Device so this is a trinket I think it is probably like a orbital strike uh, so let's go and check it out see what it looks like and let's place it in our trinket slot right here and then uh, we'll we'll see what it's gonna look like so here we take a look at the trinket so it was quite quick it lasted a few seconds so uh, when we did see it, it looked like a tornado of water with sharks swimming swarming around you we are in metropolis and we're going to test out the orbital strike so we have got it ready now and uh, we are going to target the inter gang specialist so let's go and target them so we're going to pull on the strike to them and here we go and we're going to show you what it does <laughs> So there is some intense music right there along with uh, some sharks um, going around the enemies along with the like a tornado effect to it. So those were all of the feats, base items and styles from the seasonal 2022 Tides of War event and really hope that you did enjoy this video and thank you for watching.